Bracco, in part one of The Godfather, began as a soldier under Clemenza, who orders him to take care of the traitor Polly. Then when Michael took over as head of the family, he allowed him to amass a small army, and by the end of the film, he ends the life of Philip Tattaglia. After the family moves to Nevada, Michael becomes him a caporigium, like Tessio or Clemenza once were. At the same time, he is also in charge of the security of the complex where Michael lives with his family. Rocco is supposed to protect the compound from all outside opposing forces. That means maintaining intelligence on its residents and screening incoming phone calls. Rocco letting the assassins slip into Michael's house is tantamount to a Roman legionnaire assigned to stand guard at the emperor's compound, allowing an assassin to slip through. That's why Michael was so insistent that the hitmen be taken alive. Otherwise, Michael might believe that Rocco silenced them from saying anything under interrogation. Rocco's only chance at redemption to save his own family if he has is to die while taking care of Roth. It's the same deal Michael gives Frank Pentangeli for saving his family fortune. It's possibly a very drastic decision considering that Michael can't be sure about Rocco. But this only cements the fact of Michael's alienation from everyone, even his allies, as we see in his last argument with Tom.